Hello friends. In this video we are going to discuss about how we can install the Joomla and uh, how we can st start using Joomla by uh, means uh, with the help of different modules and extensions available in Joomla. So in order to install Joomla as in the previous video we have discussed that you need to have one basic setup. So we have already suppose you have already purchased the you have already purchased the uh, the platform from the whole web hosting service provider and your pl platform is ready now so they must have provided you the cpanel the detail user id and password so in my case suppose i have taken the domain dpthparty.in and in order to log in the cpanel uh, you can see here that my detail uh, means dp3party.in and for control panel either I can go directly through this web IP or I can directly go to the cpanel.dp3party.in and when I hit enter it will show me the cpanel user ID and password. So my user ID I will enter here and then I will enter my password and uh, after entering the password when I click on login then it will directly take me to the cPanel page just see here that this is my cPanel of dp3party.in this is the total detail here okay so and the left side it will show the total uh, the used space home directory and uh, your domain name your bandwidth, your disk uses, everything it will uh, display in detail. So in my case, uh, the disk uses is unlimited and bandwidth is also, I had taken the unlimited. So it is showing infinite symbol here. And okay, let's uh, discuss wha here, what are the options available inside the cPanel. See this uh, per first option is the domain, second billing and support, the file, software, advanced softaculous this is very important to install not only Joomla any other uh, software which is available inside this softaculous using this uh, installer you can install then the database and then SEO and marketing tools we'll be discussing about this later then you can have the email control then metrics security preferences all these options are available inside your cPanel so since I have to install the Joomla but before that as I am already having the dp3party.in so I will create one subdomain and there I will install like uh, means uh, if it is your case you don't have to create this subdomain but in my case since already I am having my website dp3party.in which is created in WordPress. So I'm not going to install the Joomla in uh, this particular domain. I'll create another domain and there I will install the Joomla. So I'll create first one subdomain. The process is same whether you install in Joomla, uh, subdomain or domain the process is same but subdomain provides another facility like I'm going to create here Joomla and then when I create my my subdomain name will be joomla.dp3party.in so next time when the website is ready I have to enter joomla.dp3party.in so you can notice here that joomla.dp3party.in is created and I am going to remove this which is not required I can remove it here so after creating this subdomain you have to create one user ID and uh, one password see here the Joomla dp3party.in is created and then you go back to your main panel and uh, here you have to create one user ID and password so that the this particular user ID and password password will handle your database and the content so you can directly click on MySQL databases and you can observe already there is one database created 
so I'm not going to touch that I'll just create one DP Joomla so create database and it has created the database name this database name you have to remember because in order to configure installation of Joomla you require this so DP part dot underscore Joomla okay so after that I have to create one user to manage this particular database so my username will be I am just going to keep Joomla and password I can keep anything which I remember and a strong password because uh, database password should be very strong so that no one can access it easily and then it is asking that where you want to integrate okay then click on create user so it will create the user deep uh, means uh, dp part underscore joomla is my user and it is created now so down you can uh, see that uh, this two users have been created one is already available and one you have created just now and uh, this user you can integrate with this particular database so you can add here so this particular user will work with all privileges you can assign this user to this database and then make changes so dp party underscore joomla will handle this database and now your setup is ready let's go and create uh, install the joomla through softoculus there are two ways here also you can install uh, in two different way the easiest way is that you can directly go to go to the softoculus and choose your the software whichever you like and uh, you can directly install with the help of softoculus uh, installer or else you can directly download the joomla package you can upload to the the FTP server or the web server which you have taken or through cPanel you can upload and there you can extract the folder so it depends on you how you are going to take but this is the easiest way you can install Joomla with the help of softoculus so I am going to click on Joomla and then it will show me the domain when I click on install it will show me the domain and ask me where you want to install as you remember that I created one domain joomla.dp3party.in and the protocol you can choose how you are going to log means uh, access so I take this http colon double slash www.joomla.dp3party.in and which version you want to install 3.7.3 or 2.5.28 so I'm going to install 3.7.3 .3 and in which directory so if you create the directory the content will go inside that directory means for to access the page you have to type joomla.dp3party.in slash joomla30 so I'm not going to do that I'll just create this blank you can read the instruction here also the directory is related relative to your domain and should not exist to install at http colon double slash my domain directory just type dir to install only in uh, my domain leave this empty so if you are going to leave this empty it will get installed if you enter the address in web browser directly your page will open here you can give your website name for example welcome to my page this is uh, technical for technical solution okay I'm going to uh, enter the detail of my uh, page like this and it is asking whether you want any sample data for this yes because it will save my time so I'm going to take the default English this way this will be my sample data 
and here it is asking that you just create the username so I am going to create the user and password I will not tell okay for example I take the uh, password here anything you can give okay so enter the password and remember this password because this is very important and if you lose this it will create problem in login because and then you can give your user means email ID so it will ask you here and you can provide the email ID so can you can receive the email and now finally you click on install so it will start installing the page of Joomla and soon you will be getting the page after installation you can see here that checking the submitted data and it has got some error so you can see here it is installing and uh, once the installation is complete it will show the full detail and uh, in case of Joomla there is one thing that if you don't create the database it will automatically create the database and username and at last after installation it will show the detail so this is also one possibility or you can say one uh, a very good feature of Joomla that you don't have to create the database separately or username of the database separately and link together and then install Joomla it will automatically create database and it will install uh, everything properly and it will display the information so finally it has installed the Joomla successfully and uh, you must have received one email uh, regarding this so uh, that means all the detail regarding the uh, installation username password mysql username password it will send you to the your email id i'll just show you after this so to start with just click on this see this is your administrator link here it will display the administrator link and this is your the front end we can say that this is the back end page link and the first one is the the front end back uh, page so we'll just click on this and let's see the page hope it should not give any error yes it has uh, installed successfully and since we had taken the sample page so now it is showing the um, page with the sample page and uh, if you click on this link so it will take you directly to the the page where means the admin page where you have to log in and this user ID and password you have to use which you have given at the time of installing the Joomla so congratulations we have successfully installed the Joomla on uh, internet whatever the uh, means uh, host server uh, this one hosting services you have taken and uh, you have installed successfully so uh, in next video we are going to discuss how we can customize this page how you, you we can install the template or theme and we can start working on the, on the Joomla so thanks for watching this video in next video we are going to discuss uh, many more about Joomla and working with Joomla